Yes, my lashes are just like the voom right now. They are there. Makeup Revolution did not come to play with this collection. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be playing with a brand that has never made an appearance on my channel before, so I am super excited to be reviewing this for you guys today. I have a brand new collection from Makeup Revolution. This is the Relove collection. Now this is supposed to be extremely affordable. I believe that there isn't anything above $6, so it should be around $6 or less. I will be sure to put the prices of everything on the screen as we're going and as we're testing things out. Now I will say I have tried Makeup Revolution products in the past. Nothing that I've tried on camera, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never really been overly impressed. So we will see if this is any different. I pretty much picked up one of everything, a blush, a contour, an eyeshadow palette. I also picked up one of the super highlights, their super matte setting powder, an eyebrow gel, an eyebrow pencil, a mascara, a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and I also picked up the foundation. Now there are other products here from Makeup Revolution that I will be using to complete this look. I'm trying to do kind of like a one brand thing here. So I'm gonna try to stick with this as much as possible. The only thing they didn't offer was a concealer. So I will be using a different brand concealer, but let's just go ahead and jump into it. We are gonna start off with the Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. This was actually sent to me by Makeup Revolution. I've never tried this before. Obviously I am all about hydration. So we will go ahead and use this as a primer. I do like glowy. I am all about the glow and the hydration. I actually she feels quite nice. I don't know what it is. Whenever I try a new brand, I am super anxious about like breaking out from things. So I'm hoping I don't have any breakouts from anything that I put on my face. Let's go ahead and move on to the Super Serum. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. Now I have mine in the shade F8.5. I feel like this might be, I don't know, might be a tad too dark. It might not, but we're going to go ahead and try it out. Unfortunately, looking at the ingredients, it does look like there is mineral oil in this foundation. So oh, please be where, like I said, I feel like it's just a breakout waiting to happen. I'm gonna try a few drops here on this side of my face. We'll start off with one side just to kind of see how everything looks. I'm gonna be using a sponge. Oh, actually that seems like a pretty good color match. I think this is supposed to be more of like a medium, light medium coverage and buildable. It actually ends up looking a little bit light on me, which I'm surprised by actually, because in the container, it doesn't look that light. Do you guys agree with that? I feel like this does not look that light. Definitely very lightweight and definitely more of a medium coverage. I am aware that this color mm, is a little bit light for me. I mean, it's a decent match. And to be completely honest with you, I am actually shocked at how well this blended out and how nice it looks on the skin. This looks very skin-like. I do have larger pores on my forehead and it's actually making everything look very blurred and smooth and natural and extremely effortless. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. I'm going to try to use a bit more of the product on this side because like I said, it is very lightweight. I definitely shouldn't have touched the dropper to my skin, but no worries. I did wash my face before. So everything is cleansed. Yes, you can definitely use more product. I was a lot more reserved on the right side of my face. You do not have to be. You can definitely get more coverage. I did have that blemish right here and I do feel like it's covering it up quite nicely. Looking up close and looking in my mirror, I mean this is a very much so a skin-like finish. Let's go ahead and conceal quickly. Not that I need to brighten my under eyes really because this is already quite light. I mean look at it practically matches the shade of my concealer and I usually use this to brighten but I do want to conceal just a little bit on the under eyes. I want to see how that mattifying setting powder looks. Let's dip into this super matte powder here. It says this is non-comedogenic. It has pink clay niacinamide. It offers a matte finish that is lightweight. And this is in the shade vanilla. I'm gonna take this alter ego brush. I'm just gonna dip in here, pick up some of that powder and set the under eyes. Definitely a very mattifying powder. I'm not so sure how much I love it. I feel like already it's just exaggerating a lot of my fine lines under my eyes, like immediately I can see that. And I feel like it's not really smoothing anything. It's definitely matte, 
that's for sure. I don't think I love this very much. It's just really exaggerating a lot of the pores and texture here that I have. I typically have the most texture right here near my nose, right under my eyes, and I almost feel like it's making product break up and separate a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna say right now I can already tell that I am just not a huge fan of this matte powder at all. If you have very oily skin, you may like it, but again, people with oily skin tend to have more obvious pores. It just is what it is. It's just not my deal. Let's go ahead and move on to the contour and the blush. Now this contour kit makes me very nervous. Remember in the beginning of the video when I said, oh, I'm really excited to try all this, but I'm also very nervous. Well, this product right here is the reason why I'm a little bit nervous. And it's because this dark shade right here, first off, I kind of went by the description on the website trying to pick my shade. Uh, this is definitely not for me. This dark shade, I could never use for anything. This is way too deep for me. I don't know. I have to check my order actually. I should have checked. I don't know if they sent me the right one or if I accidentally clicked the wrong product. This contour shade in the middle is so incredibly warm. I truly don't know what skin tone would ever use a contour shade this warm. I mean, that is like, it's borderline orange looking. The highlight shade looks absolutely beautiful, but again, the highlight shade is quite light. So we've got this deep shade over here, which this is, would be perfect for someone with very deep skin tone. They definitely wouldn't be using this as their contour shade, and they definitely wouldn't be using this as their highlighter. So I am just really confused by this, but nonetheless, we're gonna go with it, and we're gonna use this orange shade right here to contour with. I mean, look at how that looks on the brush. I mean, that is straight up like terracotta. I am, I'm so nervous. Definitely more of a bronzer shade for me. Definitely not a contour, <laughs> bronzer blush. Now this doesn't look as bad as I thought it would, but again, it is not a contour shade. Obviously we are, I don't know, should we avoid this or should we put some on? Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of curious as to what, oh my gosh, I'm like digging into this pan and there's like nothing coming up. I'm dead serious. I'm not even making a dent in this. It is so hard pressed. There we go. Oh my God, look how muddy that looks. And there is a shimmer to this. You can see it in there. It's like a shimmery, I don't know you guys, to me this color story right here just really doesn't make sense. Call me crazy, but it really doesn't. That would make a beautiful eyeshadow, but my goodness, I don't know. There's, there's something off with that thing. Moving on, let's dip into this blush palette right here. This one is in the shade Kindness. I should add that this is in the uh, shade Bronze Sugar right here. Now this blush looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the imprint on the pan. It's like little waves and the shade is absolutely beautiful. This highlight shade right here looks absolutely stunning as well. This is gorgeous and I am really hoping that this works out. So let's go ahead and dip into the blush. I always like to show you guys what it looks like on the brush. That's got some pigment, but that looks stunning. That is just super soft and diffused and looks extremely soft on the skin. It's quite pigmented. A little bit goes a long way, but oh my goodness, that is a gorgeous blush. I feel like this might be too deep of a highlight, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of hit the high points of the cheek. I wanna go pretty light with this because I do wanna try out that other highlighter I have. We're just gonna layer it a bit. Very subtle, but actually very beautiful. That is, this is gorgeous. This one right here is a winner. I am all about the blush palette. Let's go ahead and set down the face. I'm gonna use this Hyaluronic Fix. This is the Revolution Hydrating and Plumping Makeup Fixing Spray. And I've never tried this setting spray before, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. Oh my God, the second ingredient in this is denatured alcohol, propylene glycol, benzyl alcohol. Whew. All right, mmm, mmm. That doesn't smell very good either. <laughs> smells like straight up alcohol. <laughs> It doesn't taste good either. Let's go ahead and move on now to the Super Highlight Highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne. Here's what it looks like now. Again, I like to use my fingers for highlights. Yes, even for powder highlights, I like to use my finger. Here's what it looks like in the pan. Go ahead and just hit the high points of the cheeks. Not bad. Definitely very glowy, but not bad. Is it the best highlighter I've ever used? Absolutely not. It does look a bit like it's sitting on top of the skin 
versus looking flush with the skin. I don't necessarily see it exaggerating any texture or anything. It's just not the best highlighter I've ever used. I definitely prefer the formula that is in the blush palette. That's just my preference. Let's go ahead and move on to the brow product. Now this is the brow blade. I picked up mine in the shade dark brown. Go ahead and use the spoolie on the end to go ahead and brush out and shape my brows. I hate doing my brows on camera. I don't know what it is. I've just never been a fan. I think it's because my brows, I just take so long to do. That's not bad. And that's a really good color match for me. Ooh, and it is nice and soft. I don't have to press very hard, but it's also not like to the point where I feel like it's like too soft. And I like the shade that it's not like super overly like dark and pigmented. I do have very dark brow hairs, but sometimes I struggle with things looking way too dark and they just go on so intense that I have to spend forever like brushing and blending. And this shade is actually really nice. I can actually apply pressure without it looking too heavy, which makes it really easy to use, especially for people who aren't super super well versed in their brows or they make a lot of mistakes. They just want something that's a little bit easier to use and they don't need to mess around with it a lot. This formula is actually quite nice. For the price, this is a really nice brow pencil. Let's go ahead and try out this Glossy Fix Clear Gel Mascara for Lashes and Brows. Obviously, we're gonna go ahead and dip into the brow side here. I love a good brow gel. But let's go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade Express. There are some beautiful greens in this, which is why I picked it. I was a huge fan of this gold right here, this kind of warm peachy champagne shade, this gunmetal shade right here. But the only mattes in this palette are this green right here and this very deep brown. So not quite sure what kind of look I'm going to go in with here or what I'm going to do, but I think think I'm actually just gonna go for it. We're gonna take this green shade. We're going in with the green. Maybe I'll be surprised like I have been with everything else. <sighs> okay, I'm nervous. Trust the process. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and keep that on the outer part of the eye. Obviously, this is going to be a very smoky look. But first impressions, this is actually blending pretty easily. Let me keep going though. Okay, hold on before I speak too soon. I can't tell. The shade almost has like an odd like yellow undertone. I can't quite tell. I mean, it's pretty. I like it. I love a good green shadow. And again, for the cost, I mean, I can't really complain. I mean, look at that. I put it on and it's not splotchy at all. It's actually blending quite nicely. If you're on a budget and you can find some hidden gem eyeshadows like this, it really is nice. I do want to deepen it up just a bit. Okay, not bad, not bad. Again, I know this looks crazy, but trust the process. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to put this shimmery kind of emeraldy green shade right in the center of the lid. I'm gonna use my finger for that. Oh, it's actually a lot more green than it looks in the pan. I feel like in the pan, it looks very blue toned. It's actually really pretty and it's blending nicely with this other green shade that I have down. I do want to add that I am picking up quite a bit on my finger. I'm really kind of going to town in the palette, but I am getting a nice amount of pigment. It's looking pretty. I think what I want to do next, ooh, what color do I want to put more? I'm debating if I want to go with the gold. I want to go with the champagne. Or I want to go with this like gunmetal shade. Let's stick with the smokiness. Let's go in with this deeper gunmetal shade right here. Again, I'm also gonna go in with my finger. I'm just gonna put that here and blend that in with the other shade. I don't wanna look like I got punched in the eye, but you know what? Today is an experiment and we're going for it. I'm filming a live tonight. I'm going live on YouTube, so this look is either gonna turn heads or people are gonna be like, what the hell is on your eyes, Crystal? What are you doing right now? Let's go ahead and work on that lower lash line. I pretty much just created that entire look with one brush and my finger. <laughs> and that tends to be what I usually end up doing. I don't know what it is. I don't love using a ton of different brushes for eyeshadow at times. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'm like, make it a little bit easier. Less is more. I'm going to take this green shade, the matte green shade, and I'm just going to put this all over the lower lash line. And we're just going to go ahead and smoke it out here. Just want an eyelash on my cheek. Did anyone else make wishes on their eyelashes when they were a kid? I used to do it like crazy. I would actually get so excited if I actually had an eyelash that fell off and I could make a wish. I was so excited. I'm like, this is where my dreams are gonna come true with this very eyelash. I feel like I almost look like I'm doing makeup for like a Halloween sea monster right now. A little bit of sea monster vibes, not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the liner that I poked up, poked up. This is just a coal eyeliner. This is in the shade black. It's just like a wooden pencil liner. 
We're gonna pop this on the waterline. Wow, that is pigmented. I did not expect that. Usually wooden liners tend to be a little bit more on the dry side, but that is just like gliding right on the eye and that is black. This is probably like the most pigmented black affordable eyeliner I have ever used. What did I just do with the cap? Here it is. I mean, that took like nothing and it's just there. That's incredible. Let's go ahead and put some on the top too, just for just for shits and gigs, why not? All right, let's move on to mascara. I just gotta curl the lashes here quickly and then we'll move on to lips and then we'll have a complete look. So this is the Power Lash Volume Mascara. This is in the shade black. It's definitely got a hefty wand on it here. Well, let's do this. First impressions, I like the brush because I feel like it's really grabbing my lashes. That's nice. Always on the hunt for a good affordable mascara. Mascara. Not bad. So just one coat. We're looking pretty good. Definitely not bad. I'm putting on a second coat and it is layering quite nicely. And I really like the brush. That is a nice mascara. Okay. Makeup Revolution did not come to play with this collection. Yes, my lashes are just like the voom right now. They are there. Let's move on to the last product. This is their baby gloss lip gloss right here. Tiny little guy. What shade is this? Sugar. Do you want to put on a little bit of lip liner? I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill lip liner that I was coerced into buying by my subscribers, and I actually really like it, so thank you for that. This is in the shade Blondie. Let's move on to this little baby lip gloss right here. Does she have a scent? Kind of. I don't know if I love it. I wish it was more sweet. It smells more perfumey. Oh, I don't know if I can get past the scent. Uh, it's kind of making me sick. It's a very nice gloss, but I don't like the scent. Not a fan. A little bit sticky. Again, it's nice. It looks glossy, it looks very opaque, but it's the scent for me, it's the scent for me. So here is the completed look using all new products, well, mostly all new products from the Relove line from Makeup Revolution. Um, let's go ahead and go over what I loved. Number one, loving the mascara. This looks awesome. Holy Toledo. Does this give you some va va voom lashes? This again is the Power Lash Volume Mascara. This is Foosh, fantastic, absolutely love that. Obsessed with the blush. Very, very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way, but the shade is absolutely gorgeous. So good, this is fantastic right here. The contour palette for me, it's gonna be a no dog. It's gonna be a no for me. I just don't like this. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand the color story in here. This just, no, it, it's a hard pass. Don't love the way it looks on the skin. I, it's just not for me. The Super Highlight Highlighter in the shade Champagne. This is okay. It's cute. It's not my favorite. It doesn't look bad on the skin. It looks all right. It looks nice, but there's definitely better affordable highlighters out there. So that's gonna be okay for me. The Glossy Fix Brow Gel. This is actually really nice. I'm touching my brows right now and they definitely feel like they're being held in place. This is a good product right here. I like that, no complaints. The Blade Brow is fantastic. Oh my goodness, I really can't recommend this product enough. For a drugstore brow liner, I am extremely impressed. This is hands down the best drugstore brow product I have ever used. I feel confident in saying that. The Coal Liner, as long as this holds up and doesn't bleed, and I will leave you guys an update in the comments, letting you know throughout the day as I wear all of this as well. I'm gonna film a live, like I said, do some editing. So I will let you know how everything held up, but I'll definitely let you know as well how this Coal Liner here in black, because this is pigmented and so easy to use. It glided on with absolute ease. Totally loved that. The eyeshadow palette is cute. I do have to say it's definitely not bad. I feel like I got a really nice look out of it. The colors blended beautifully. It's pigmented. It's pretty good for what it is. I don't know why I'm holding the mirror and doing this. It's pretty good for what it is. The super matte powder this is just not for me. I tend to be more dry. My skin needs a glow. I feel like it exaggerated some texture and some pores, and I feel like it almost was making my eyeshadow break up. Not my eyeshadow, my under eye concealer. <sighs> Crystal, can you think? Can you speak? It's so what an eight and a half hour workday will do to you if you work all day and then sit down and try to film. <laughs> Definitely not for me. This is a pass as well. The foundation, so far, I actually really like it. It doesn't really feel tacky at all. It is very lightweight, gives very nice coverage. I definitely just want to get a shade that's maybe just a little bit deeper. Again, so strange because it looks like it's going to work with my skin, but then I put it on and it looks so much lighter and the 
lights are washing me out a bit, definitely exaggerating it. Definitely something that I do wanna try out in a different shade. The lip gloss, it's okay. It's pigmented. It's just the scent I'm not a fan of. I don't really smell it anymore and I can't really taste anything. So it's definitely not a bad product, but again, I definitely think there's better products out there that are also affordable as well. Let me know what you think about this collection. Have you heard about it? Did you actually pick up anything for yourself? I believe right now this is actually only available directly from the Makeup Revolution or Revolution Beauty. I don't know why I just can't get their name down. I think it's different in different countries, whatever you guys get the drift. I believe it's only available through their website. So if you're interested in any of the products, head over there to check them out. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see others like it, please hit the like button, smash that thumbs up. Let's me know that you enjoy this content and you want to see me make videos just like this one. If you enjoyed today's video, please do me a solid and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos that I upload just like this one. Thank you guys so much as always for hanging out with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.